Monkey Paw and Nia, um, we were uh, we were all really excited and synchronized around Yaya and his um, and and what we knew he could do with this role. And and one thing I would say about Yaya, um, having worked with him on us and and all through the process of Candyman, um, is that he is uh, an incredibly nuanced performer that you can feel him internalizing the the complicated um strife of the character and doing this sort of thing where it feels like he's boiling it down and suppressing it um like a lot of people do and then it comes out in these ways that feel like the 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 fabric of of real of a real person um uh, dealing with the actual real concerns uh, that they're facing and um that level of a of a restriction on hyperbole uh was something that we just kept being like man he is going to ground this film in a way that is um is truly dynamic we have developed a sibling like uh collaborative bond throughout this process where we are um, kind of fearless in the things that we believe in. We have an open exchange of ideas. Um, and uh, that carried through um, all steps of the process. And really, I mean, very much a testament to um, Nia's openness to, to just get into the weeds on every detail of the film in ways that were collaborative with me, with Kara Brower, our production designer, um, with James McQuaid, our VFX supervisor. Um, every detail, uh, um, we turned over every stone to make sure we were doing the most exciting, realistic, mischievous, fun, and honorable decision we could make throughout that process. Um, and so in, in regards specifically to selecting the artists whose works um, we commissioned for the film, um, Nia and I literally did studio visits with, with every one of these artists, um, talking to them about their process, looking at work, um, talk, discussing afterwards. Um, it was almost like we were curating an exhibition um, by way of selecting these artists. Jordan and I have been friends for 25 years. And when it was time for us to go to college, I went to NYU to become an, um, a studio art major. And Jordan went to Sarah Lawrence and his major was um, puppeteering. And puppeteering has been something that was uh, a, a big part of Jordan's creative process from when he was young. It's something that um, his mother is also really passionate about. Um, and so in, I would say in Jordan's relationship to storytelling, some of its very origins start with um, that art form. So when writing the script, um, and faced with the uh, daunting challenge of dealing with um, exposition and flashback material, um, Jordan had this incredible idea, which is it feels like we should uh, p portray these moments in a completely different fashion than just actors acting on sets. Um, so uh, that was the impetus. Um, for the notion of, of, of um, how the shadow puppetry came to play. When Jordan and Wynne told me that the script was going to take place in the contemporary art world in Chicago, um, it spooked me at first because of my uh, long relationship to the contemporary art world, and it made me realize that I was going to have to seriously come correct in regards to my 40-year uh, history of being a part of that world and my long-standing history of lamenting its presentation in film and television. So I knew that in order to produce this film correctly, I was going to have to be as accurate as humanly possible about what it's really like to be a young artist in the contemporary art world um, and how do we can best portray that um, within the fiction of our film. For us, this was a really challenging opportunity because it's an IP that is um, an important one. 
Um, it was per a personally important one for myself and for Jordan, certainly. Um, and it was a, um, a film that we bonded over in, in our adolescence when we were first becoming friends. Um, and it's also one that felt um, like it was begging for a contemporary kind of response to, um, to what Bernard Rose laid down in that original.